just having a little fun. Well, you always should when you're out RVing. Uh, welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City, Oregon. I'm Gary Christians, but you know me as the van guy. Today I highlighted a 2013 Pleasure Way XL wide body. You need to see inside this unit. It's short, 20 feet, but it's got a king size room in the back. Which is where we're going to start. Ultra leather, memory foam. It's got uh, seat belts in the back so you can carry another couple with you. If you want to make it into a twin bed, you push the button. Ultra leather memory foam folds down, meets with the, uh, the footrest of the bed, and you have twins. Now if you want to go crazy, you take the board in the closet, you put it in the center here, take the backrest, slide them together. This bad boy is six foot four long and six foot seven wide. I call that a king size bed. I bet you're really liking the fantastic fan I turned on, aren't you? It's really hot in here. <laughs> Quinn's just sweating up the storm. Um, heat pump in the back, which is this cool cat right here. Storage on both sides. Took a little bit of engineering to get that to work the way it does. Plenty of storage space up above. DVD player, color TV, inverter. So the TV runs, this all runs on 110, so if you don't fire up your generator, we can turn this on and you can operate your entertainment center. Don't have to have that generator humming away. LED lights help uh, conserve uh, power and they're much cooler than power regular bulbs. All stainless steel backing here in the kitchen. Fantastic fan that we've got turned on because it's such a hot day. Storage up above in the kitchen. Corian countertop, single lever faucet, recessed sinks. Easy for cleanup. And you got space if you're not using your two burner stove. Dometic, three cubic foot refrigerator, three way. Freezer up on top, controls are right here, just, a, just below the 110 outlet with a GFI. This right here is where you turn off your battery disconnect switch. Got nice drawers, it's got all the remote controls and an extra set of keys, which is always nice. Um, that's a good size storage area for a small space, got good room. Now this is kind of where this unit shines a little bit because it's got a nice bathroom. I mean nice. Medicine cabinet, Corian countertops, nice vanity, shower. I know, you're saying it's gonna get wet. Well you've got a shower curtain. It pulls across here, it goes down there. It comes over here and Velcro's in place. You close this, there's a cover that goes over that, and you have a place you can go down, sit down, take your faucet, get the temperature right, turn it off, sit down, rinse, turn it off, soap, rinse off, you're done. All right, moving back up, we're going to go to the closet. As I told you, it had a table for the back. Also, it has the board that makes into the king size bed, the remote control, all the owner's manuals. There's one leg. You're either going to put it here in the front or in the back. You can buy an extra leg if you want. Microwave. You can put a convection in here. There is room. And then right up here, nice big storage area over the driver passenger cockpit seat. You notice it has power mirrors, power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise control. CD player. We can change that bad boy out to whatever you want. We can put a backup camera, full screen, touch screen, or if that's ample, you got that too. AC up front, as well as, of course, the heat pump in the back. Both seats turn around for a living room, dining room up here, and you can leave your uh, bed made up. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the battery so we don't drain it. And like I always tell everybody, you back out. That way you don't fall. And hit your head. Come on outside. I don't have the compartment key, but this is where your battery is. It's on a slide-out tray. 
Service entrance for uh, the refrigerator. That's something you need to monkey with. Vent for the refrigerator. No use to get in there, but that's how they vent it. Furnace intake and exhaust. One of these is really hot. If you're plugged into power or you got your generator, you can open it up and you've got an outlet over here. Got a small little storage compartment, and they did that because they redesigned this in 13 where they took out the larger compartment that blocked up all this space and they made a nice big open space. Lots of room in there for chairs or whatever. Heat pump serviceable from the rear. This right here, airbags. So you can come in, air this thing up, make it a little stiffer or you can soften it up. You can do it and you can also have a remote installed which has been done before. This is just standard. You can come up to air hose and power it up or power it down. Um, what else we got? Let's take a look on this side. Uh, hot water heater, direct spark ignition, uh, portable water, sewer hose, outdoor shower, gasoline, which is regular, power center, Sewer hose, gravity fed, i show you where you store it. Cable TV, city water, propane fill, power cord goes here. Access to the generator, if you want to open the cover uh, to look at it, but that's what that little door is. Now I know you got a lot of questions. Of course you're gonna call the van guy, because I got him. You can reach me direct on email on the screen, or you can call me at 541-554-9581. Let's do it. Let's talk today. Thank you.